Yo, what's going on? What's, what's up? Listen, this is a tour around Charlotte, part 61, uh, the flea market. Uh, right now I'm on, uh, on South Tryon Road. And I'm about to take you to the flea market. And for those that don't know what a flea market is, I'll explain it to you right after I show you this right here. They just built this grocery store right here called Little. That's on the right. Uh, I think that they, they're just about done. This uh, this just came here to Charlotte on the right hand side, little. Um, they have one in South Carolina. The 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 grocery store is pretty nice, man. As you can see, you know it's all windows on on one side. You know on the front part. I'm gonna check that out, man. You know I'll take y'all in there when um when it opens. But um anyway. So I'm about to take you to the flea market. For those that don't know what the flea market is, it's a area where, you know, um, people basically set up, you know, tables and stuff like that. You can rent the tables out. I mean, excuse me, they rent the tables out. So, you know, I, I used to, you know, bang out, bang out at the flea market. You know, I sold like clothes, oils, incense. You could sell just about anything. And once we get there, I'll show you. But I mean, New Yorkers, y'all should be... Y'all should know what the flea market is I mean, they got one on, I think, 116 If I'm not mistaken Like right across the street from, um, in Harlem In Harlem, that is um, Right across the street from the mosque Um, and I, where, where other one? It's another one, another flea market somewhere in New York But anyway, they're, they're definitely in the South You know, this is the, 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 the flea markets are a Southern thing You know, so like I said before, to sum it up within a nutshell, it's a it's an area where you can get, you know, used stuff, new stuff. Um, this particular flea market that I'm gonna, gonna take you to is located in South Carolina, and um, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's Fort Mill. Um, but yeah, uh, either Rock Hill or Fort Mill, I get them mixed up, you know. But when we get up there, I'll be able to tell you whether it's Rock Hill or Fort Mill. But anyway, you know, you can, you can, um, the, the one that I'm taking you to, you can buy like <laughs> groceries, like they sell fruit there, you know, um, of course when it's the season, I buy my, um, I buy my watermelons up there when I don't want to go, um, to, uh, they call it watermelon town. I forgot the name of it in South Carolina, but it's like, it's, it's within, um, along the, the, the route that you take to get to Myrtle Beach. But I buy my watermelons there if I don't want to like go that far out. Um, and they just got a they got a bunch of stuff. Like I said, you know, if you're an entrepreneur, or, you know, you a hustler, or whatever have you, and you have you know products or whatever that you want to sell, you can actually rent out a booth there, you know, a table and and set up. Um, the flea market that I'm taking you to, and most flea markets are that way. It's Saturday and Sunday. They only open Saturday and Sunday. They're not, they're not open throughout the weekdays. I would encourage you all, if you're gonna go to a flea market, I mean, just about any flea market is the same. I would encourage you all to go when you, you know, if you wanna go. Uh, like definitely early that morning or later in that afternoon. See, this is Carowinds on the left-hand side. So we just passed through uh, North Carolina, and so now we're in South Carolina, <laughs> and this is crazy. But that's just how it is. You know, we we're not in in North Carolina now. We're actually in South Carolina, and on the on the left hand side, once again, is uh, Carowinds. So, yeah, you know, if you wanna if you wanted to shop there, you know, I would encourage you all to actually go there early in the morning or like late in the afternoon. But if you go late in the afternoon, of course. You're gonna have to, you know, pick over, you know, things because it's not gonna be that much available because, you know, the flea markets get really busy because it's a big thing here. You know, a lot of people uh, go to to get, you know, items that's that's like cheap, and it's just that plain and simple. It's, you know, sometimes they do have some good stuff. Right now, I'm going to buy some incense. Now, normally, I order my incense from a souk. Um, this this uh this joint um this place I have been ordering from from them for years like <laughs> like over 20 years man you know I get my oils and incense from them uh it's it's like right it's this it's um 
the place is um in downtown Brooklyn, right before, right, I think it's yeah, right after you you pass the courthouse. It's right, like right before you get to Medina. If those you know that know know. So we're in South Carolina. And I'll tell you the name of the flea market once we get there because um I don't know the name of the flea market either. <laughs> but yeah, man, you know, um I put in an order and it won't get here until like Tuesday or Wednesday. I need some incense now, so I'm just gonna pick up like two or three packs, you know, um that that you know last me until Wednesday. You know, um, I know you all don't know me, but I'm really, really big on incense and oils. I, that's all I wear is oils. And I, I'm, I'm telling you, hands down, nobody can beat Asuk's oils. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he don't cut the oil. He don't do none of that. They don't do none of that stuff. You know, um, and I used to sell oils, too. You know, and when I go outside, when I go out like to the grocery stores and different places like that, People will be like, man, you smell good. What you have on? And then I tell them, and then they'll be like, yo, man, I mean, do you sell it or whatever? I was like, yeah, I used to sell it, but I don't sell it anymore. You know, I stopped selling oils, man, because it wasn't oils and incense. I, I just stopped selling. There wasn't no money in it. You know, I mean, I'm, to tell you the truth, truth be told, it was like light bill money. You know what I'm saying? Like, you make about a hundred or so or whatever. Like, when I, when I was selling them, oils and incense, and I was selling my book too. When I was doing it, um, what was I making? A little over 200 a week, which wasn't wasn't that bad. I mean, I wasn't putting 40 hours in. I was putting more, like really half than that, a little less than half than that, you know. But yeah, you know, I, I stopped doing that, man. I, I don't. Yo, you know, my thing is, man, I don't like doing nickel and dime hustles anymore. I, I'm just not into that. I just need to make a big bulk of money, and then I need to go home. That's it. I, I'm not trying to make nickels and dimes, $50 here, $20. So I don't want to do that anymore. You know, so I don't. All right, so we are embarking upon the flea market. Can I make a right right here instead of waiting for all these people? Let me drive up here and, and tell y'all the name of the flea market. Yeah, it's it's kind of it, it's, it's empty, man. It will be way more park packed than than this. It's called Miller's Flea Market. It's open Saturday and Sunday. The number's 803-548-1817. Once again, 803-548-1817. Miller's Flea Market are open only on Saturday and Sunday. See this? I don't see. If, I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's 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 a sign that says "Welcome to North Carolina, Mecklenburg County, Pineville City Limit." That's crazy. Um, I hate talking about you know other races because it it comes off that. I'm trying to be a racist when I say certain things, but, I, but it's just the truth. Like a lot of Mexicans actually, um, a lot of Mexicans actually, actually uh, sell things out here, you know, and they got pretty good stuff, especially produce. Like I said, you know, they're selling fruits and vegetables and all of that stuff. I want to take y'all up here real quick. I know, I know, I think I probably showed you all this before, but I just want to show y'all, show you all how now they're building out, you know. So if you you can't afford to live in Charlotte, you know, um, or not so much can't afford it. It's just that the prices are you know on the market for as far as housing are too too much. You they they give you the option now that you can actually stay on the outskirts of Charlotte, and they're building around Charlotte. Why don't you go out, man? People can't drive, man. They're building they're building um. They're, they're building around Charlotte. So the, this flea market in this area um, is like <laughs> menace. I mean, 
minutes away from 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 uptown. I don't know if y'all can see it from a. It's it's, it's really really far away because this GoPro. I can't zoom in and zoom out. I use the GoPro for for these you know type of situations. The, these videos, but the Canon. If I had the Canon, I could zoom in and zoom out. But you can actually see uptown from here. And you can see Pineville Hospital from here too. So it's this is not far. So if you're living, if you want to live out here, you know, in this area, you can. These houses right here, brand new. This whole area, this this whole community right here, I want to show y'all this real quick, and then we're gonna um run through the flea market. Matter of fact, I, I'm not gonna take y'all, but but so far in because everybody's really much packed, you know, pretty much packed up. But this is all new right here. And I'm more than sure that these uh, these houses right here are very affordable. You know what I'm saying? And if they're not, you still get more bang for your buck. It's called McCullough. Um, and the homes are from the 400,000s. But I did show you all this when I did the Pineville video. I think it was raining that day when I did it. So it's more, you know, it's, it's the sunshine. It's, 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 the sun is out. So you, you, this is nice, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and this is a brand new community. You know, this whole, I'm telling you, this whole community right here didn't exist two and a half years ago. I know. That's for a fact. It didn't exist. So, let me make this shoe. Bust this shoe. I don't know if I make a right one. Yeah, so you can live out here, man, and they have a grocery store right up the street. It's a food lion um, and a couple of other places. And this is South Carolina. Well, I guess they would consider this North Carolina because when I pat when I made that right, it said a North Carolina state line. So we're actually in Pineville right now. It is it's, it's like somewhat confusing because so Charlotteans will tell me. You know, Pineville is not Charlotte or, or part of Ballantyne. But I understand that. And like Huntersville, they would say Huntersville is not in Charlotte. And they would say Ballantyne is not like really Charlotte. But it's all Mecklenburg County. You see what I'm saying? I get I get them being technical about it. Like technically it's not, you know, Charlotte. Technically it's Huntersville. And you know, um, uh, uh, Valentine and um, Pineville and Matthews, but all of it's in Mecklenburg County. You know, but I, I get the whole thing. So you're in. We're, we're right now. I'm not going to even lie. We half of the flea market is in South Carolina, and the other half is in North Carolina. That's how crazy this thing is. The state lines are. So I'm I'm just gonna walk y'all around real quick because they're packing up. Hopefully the, the the people I get incense from are still there. But this is another option, you know, you get, you know, if that's what you into, you know, if you want to sell things here, um right here. So, you, so take for example, you gotta get out here early if you want a a, a booth for yourself. So you you normally you would come out here about you come out here like Friday. Thursday or Friday or something like that They're open but they're not open like for you know To sell or whatever for you to sell But they're, the office is open and you could prepay So you can come come out here like Thursday or Friday And pay for your, your table Take for example like This this table right here will probably be they, it, They'll probably be That'll probably be decent but inside those little, The warehouses and joint They go easy they go quick so people get up on them You know Um so you you definitely want to do that if you if you want to sell out here, um, and the tables go for twenty twenty five dollars. It depends on where you're at, where you're located, and then if you want two tables or whatever have you know it goes up. But um, let's let's go ahead and go on the flea market real quick, and and um, we're gonna wrap this up. All right. So as you can see, they got all types of stuff in here, you know. So you man, they got a lot of good stuff. You know, put on this mask. Hey, lady, they got jeans and all of that. You know, some of the stuff is used, some of it's not. Mm. 
Some of the stuff is used, some of it's not, man. But everybody's like packing up now, you know what I mean? I hope they don't pick up this YouTube drink. Cause they will flag me for this, for that music playing. Copyright. So yeah, man. They got all of this stuff. You know what I mean? They got drills, all that. All that, yo. Trying to clip this microphone on. Having difficulties. Portraits. All of that, man. You know? I ain't putting this on. Oh, yeah, over in South Carolina, you don't have to wear a mask. So it's crazy, because, like, North Carolina and South Carolina, the rules are different. Their laws are different. You know what I'm saying? Some laws are better in North Carolina, while some other laws are, are better in South Carolina. Like, you have more freedom to do things in South Carolina. You know, it just, it just differs, you know? I suggest that if you get a, a, a gun, that you um, definitely, and you're and you living in North Carolina, and you wind up, you know, going to uh, South Carolina, I suggest that you know the laws in that state. Because if you don't, and you don't supposed to, you know, have that gun out or whatever in South Carolina, you could definitely get in trouble. See, man, it's pretty decent. Let me bust this left real quick. I just hope I won't get hit with no copyright joints because this is like three different, three different, you know, songs going on. But I'm gonna show you all this right here over here real quick. And then we're gonna wrap it up, man. I mean, it's not as busy, of course, because like I said, it's late. So people packing up, but it's just giving you a little, a little, you know, idea of, you know, what you get, you can get Pampers, you can get Tylenol, potato chips. You can get, you know, your boots here if that's what you're into. You know what I'm saying? Now, people may say, well, I shop here. Um, I'm more of an active wear guy, you know, so I wear a lot of active wear and they don't have that out here. But I mean, if they, so you get your caps over here, and they had, you know, stuff that I, I needed. Yeah, I shop here. They're gonna give me a better price, you know, than the mall. Of course, no doubt. It makes sense. You know what I'm saying? If I come here, I can get more bang for my buck. Are oh, they playing all these songs, man? YouTube is gonna hit me. It's copyright joint. I know they are. You can get earrings. You can get all of this stuff, man. You can get laptops. <laughs> they can fix your phone here. Can't beat it. You can get toilet tissue. You can get shampoo. Look at this, man. This is good. Hey, how you doing? Wow, man. You can get some of everything over here. All right, man, so we're going to wrap it up. I don't even know if the person, the instant, they probably, they usually be over here. Oh, man. I might have missed them, man. Anyway, we're going to wrap this up, man. You know, um, you know, I just showed you, gave you a basic idea of what, you, what you're getting into as far as dealing with the flea market. Um, other than that, man, you know, I'm gonna start doing houses so y'all can get a uh, good look at, you know, what you may be getting, you know, if you're interested in buying or renting a house. Uh, I hope I, ha I helped you all out. I hope you enjoy yourself, you know, and um, hey, when you move here, or if you visit or whatever, you know, come through, check out what they have. And see if um you know something that interests you. Oh, they got sneakers over there, they got Jordans. 
No, that's right. Um, other than that, I'm out. Um, I want you to like, comment, subscribe, and definitely share this video.